new uh, DaVinci 1.0 by uh, XYZ Printing for a little bit now. Um, here you can see the inside of it. My uh, my printer actually I bought it off of eBay. Got it for 400. It was quoted as new, but it didn't come totally new. I had to do a little bit of maintenance, and I actually got a partial refund. So this printer, all in all, cost me $300. Um, it served me pretty well so far, um, and I mean, there's it's just the standard FDM fuse deposition, you know, printer. There's there's no, nothing really wrong with it. After I've got um, some open source hardware on. Uh, software on there. Uh, I got Repetier firmware and host uh, to to deal with all my 3D printing problems. Um, as you can see, I've made a little holder here that was originally 3D printed with the filament that came with it. It was ABS. Um, I haven't I haven't had to use a chip at all since I've uh, had the Repetier firmware. So all in all, it's a $300 printer that came out to be you know it works just like an open source 3d printer um, yeah I've got various plastics and even some ABS pellets that I've been wanting to make into filament um, but yeah uh, the prints come out fine after some tweaking he here's some parts that I've been you know working on it's part of my filament extruder Actually, I'll, I'll show you guys that later. This is a partial print, but it printed, yeah, that, that way was down. It printed from the top down. And there you can see the hexagons drawn by Slicer and printed by the printer. Um, you got a nice glossy finish with this. This is PLA. Uh, the blue is, it's actually real cheap PLA. I got a kilo spool for 20 bucks. Um, Here's the Repetier host firmware. I mean, not firmware, the host, just the software. Uh, as you can see, it's not connected right now, but there's Slicer. Um, the settings I use, I go through them pretty briefly here. But uh, everything I've been printing has been at 0.3 layer height, 0.3 millimeters. I like it. It's a good balance between speed and you know resolution. Um, everything comes out nice, glossy smooth to the touch. You'll feel the ridges but everything you know structurally sound and looks fine. Here it is the same part fully printed and assembled in my filament extruder. Um, as you can see the coupler there for the gearbox and the auger bit is also 3D printed. You can see it there in the casing. And uh, yeah so all in all the printer it was a very good deal. Uh, here's some other things just quick small items I just kinda go over it the cat is a three layer print took like literally a minute um, it's a cat pick for my guitar uh, this is just a test print you can see three layers comes out pretty nice very solid um, print a little handle on this one to see how it would deal with that came out real nice um, I think I'm done with tweaking for now and here's a little knob that I made for a potentiometer. So all in all, very good deal.